Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Westman 2 is back with a different game. Star Realms. You might remember it from my friend's Vathos's review here. Haven't seen it? Click right there and you'll see it. Now, he can't hear me and I can't hear him. So we're going to kind of do uh, verses. So if you want to see his, you're going to have to click right there. Sorry. Not really sorry. I mean, that's just how we're going to go. So he's probably waiting for me. So as I play, I'm going to show you how we're going to go. So we'll play all these cards. As you see here, I got one trade. Now, trade equals to these numbers here, and you buy these different cards. Different cards have different aspects. Like, for instance, this gives me two health, or excuse me, three health and two trade, which is pretty nice. But my strategy for this game is I want to go quick. So I want to buy, like, these cards, like the, uh, the, the Blob Destroyer, because I get six attack, right? And so the objective is to get him down to zero. He's doing the same with me. Now, there's different things. As we get there, I'll explain. But... For instance, the only thing I can really buy is that, which is nice, but it won't help me in mine. So I'm going to buy this, end my turn, and we'll wait for him. And as we wait, we'll look at my cards. Okay, so I have two attack next turn, so that's going to be good, and then three trade. So for instance, you see these right here with the six shield. Now, if it's a silver shield, it means he, he doesn't have to attack it, but he might want to. And that means he needs six attack to destroy this. But if he doesn't destroy us, then every turn, I get, a, um, I get this attribute, you know, two... You may put the next ship uh, you acquire on the top of your deck, and I get two trade. And uh, if I want to uh, trash the card, I don't even have to. If I get another ship with this symbol, so for, for instance, if I bought this ship, and then, you know, I uh, got this, and I played the ship, and this was already out, then I get this attribute, which is to draw a card. So we're going to play all our cards. Oh, it's kind of loud. Um... Okay, so now this one, you see how it's black? It means he has to destroy that five attack before he can attack my main health, which is actually pretty good. And if I trash this card, I mean get rid of it practically out of my deck, then I get five. Now, this whole game is a deck-building game, if you weren't sure. Um, if you watch the review, then yes, you'll know that this is a deck-building game, similar to Ascension, kind of, but uh, it has its own twist. Uh, oh, yeah, almost forgot to attack. Whoa, because... I'm talking, but yeah, so that's the whole point of there, and it's just, it's a really interesting game, and I like it, so let's just think, I need a card that will allow me to scrap, now to scrap means you get rid of cards in your discard, right, so for instance, you see these little ships that only cost one trade, and I now have these explorer ships that now cost two, and if I scrap it, I get two attack, these will come in handy later down the road, so what I need to do is I need to get rid of these cards. But it doesn't look like I have any scrapping cards. So that's not going to be a good thing yet. So we're going to play all of it, which is all trade, which is cool and all. Uh, I mean, I can buy this. Here we go. Four attack, and you get to scrap. And I have another one of these cogs in my um, deck, which is Machine Colt right here, ship. So we're going to buy this. Oh, this thing's awesome because this attribute is you instantly get to destroy a target base. And those bases were, the, were these type of cards. Now, if you will excuse me, I'm going to leave the game as it refreshes. I'm going to go back to the main screen, and I'm going to have to go into the settings and probably turn sound down because I can't hear a thing, and it's deafening me. Now we're going to go back into the game, wait for him, and let's see. That It's showing me my last turn. Sorry if there's no sound. Um, I'll have to fix it when we're done because I was going deaf. Okay, perfect. Here's our base. So that this is an outpost, and it's a battle station machine cult base so what it means is if it just sits there and does nothing this one actually but what we can do is if we scrap it i get five attack instantly perfect we want that trade bot so we're going to play all this goes over here so now vathos can't attack me until he gets rid of this so if he has four attack sorry that's not five and he can't hit me so we're going to get this trade bot because that's the scrap and that's what we want to do now i just realized this this stealth needle came into play and that's what we want to pick up next time if he doesn't get it, because look what it does. It copies any other ship in your hand. So, for instance, let's say I play the battle mech. Okay, now I get four, and I can scrap a card in my hand or discard part. Okay, car pile, excuse me. Now, let's say I play the needle. Then there we go. Now I have two of these. That's eight attack, and we'll start really hitting him. Now, we want this missile mech and the needle ship, stealth ship, and that's what we want to do. Um, that is my strategy. I just want to hit quick, hit fast, and just kind of get out of there. Now... For instance, I do have quite a bit of attack early on because I want to go so heavy. The War World is pretty good because I get three right off the bat every turn. And if I play another Star Empire base, or just, excuse me, um, ship, 
then I get I get a uh, four for every every ship and that's pretty awesome so that's what we're gonna want to play now the bad thing is we don't have a discard pile because it's shuffled so we'll get rid of one of these vipers which is not a bad thing I mean it's one and you know it's early in the game so it's fine so we're going to oh should we get rid of this one mm. no we'll, we'll wait a turn and then worry then we'll play all pick up another explorer because I don't see anything else seven attack I mean I could risk it but I don't want to and now that's buy one more and that's it so we'll end our turn we'll wait for him this game is pretty interesting uh, it's an interesting hand one away from what we want I wish I got you know one of those but yeah so if you ever played Ascension and there's other games that it's like but not quite you know it's the whole aspect where you build a deck and it's interesting and I really, I really like it. So let's see how we're actually doing. So I have only discarded one card, I think. Yeah. So I have three of these in play. Do I have any in my actual deck? Four. Okay. So I need to start getting rid of these scouts and these vipers now because now they're just going to take up spots in my hand. And it's better if I can just get rid of all of these pretty much and then just keep buying these uh, the scouts not get rid of the scouts buy the explorers because then I gets me more draw so it there's a higher chance that I'll draw my battle mech or my missile mech if I can, can get it and that's what I want to do I just want to quickly go and do my best to destroy him and take away his his health now he just finished oh no okay see so he built, bought the blob destroyer and that's a big card so he just did 13 damage took away my base yeah, that's not fun. That's not even remotely fun. Uh, we're going to buy the Imperial Frigate. Pros yeah. And then... Oh, I can buy this. Um, yeah, because we just want to attack. Oh, perfect. Missile Bot. Missile Bot is like the scrap ship. It's the same thing you may discard. The uh, Machine Cult seems to always want to get rid of... Hey, my base is back. Always wants to get rid of cards, which is good. And this one, the Patrol, is awesome because either I get three trade or five attack. So I can look and go, okay, I need that card. Oh, I need three. Perfect. Or I go, oh, I don't need three. I need five attack. Perfect. So interesting. It looks like he went all trade here. Oh, nice. The mothership. That's an awesome card, but I don't think we need it at this moment. We're going to have five, one less. But oh, see, do we pick the. Okay, we do have a scrap card, but we only have one. And this one does allow us to scrap so that's two and then if i play another one you may scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. okay so we're gonna go this route oh cool we'll pick up that perfect and um i don't think we need to scrap this just yet yeah see and so these are just junk cards now and they're just getting in the way so i i need i need to play these these scrap cards these trade bots these battle mechs and the other ones so that i can get rid of them and in return, I can then pull my battle pod more often, or I can pull my, my uh, you know, patrol or my trade bot, which you know I wouldn't really need to do. But if it's a hot heavy hitter like these fours and these fives and these sixes now on the board in this eight, I mean this is crazy. Um, we need to try to get that because I just want to hit quick and hit fast, so that when he's trying to do his thing. So, so now he put his outpost. So now each turn he gets this, this, and if he scraps it, he will get the attack health trade or attack but i had now i need four attack to get through it now this luckily this battle pod gives me that four attack and allows me um just that so i could buy the blob wheel which gives me one attack and if i can scrap it but i don't really want to um we'll do we'll buy two of these and then we can scrap this oh, we're one short oh no we're not don't use we don't want to scrap anything from the center row that i can think of get rid of that do three to him end our turn and then we'll wait for him okay we got our trade bot we do have a discard pile so we start getting rid of these scouts because we don't want them and if i pull another um machine cult i'll be able to get rid of this and then when i get rid of these scouts and keep the explorers then i can you know instead of having three scouts i'll have three explorers possibly and then now i can get almost anything on the board because the most expensive card i've seen is an eight okay see he bought that now that needs to go like this turn we we can't mess around with that sadly i don't even have 
I can get two attack. Okay, so it can go down. It has to go down this turn or else that is nasty card and that will hurt. Now, see how I even got the two trade? So the first attribute is on top and the second attribute is on the bottom. So that means that every time I play this card, I can always get the two trade. But if I want, I can scrap it and get an additional two. So we have the six. We're buying the battle mech. We're going to scrap the card. Excuse me, like that. Now this needs to go. And then that's what we'll do. I'm happy with that. That was a good turn. So, okay, perfect. We grabbed our Imperial Frigate and... Okay, good. We have a lot of attack this turn. Sadly, I, I haven't really gone Imperial or Star um, Emperor, so I really don't have any cards that work with this card, as Vathos did. See, so if with this base, if he had this base out, he would have gotten three off the bat. Then he would have gotten an additional four, because this card, if he had this card, it would have triggered. And because it would have triggered with this, this card then would give him two additional. So that's six right there. And then it's seven right here, right? Yeah, seven. And I would have had to discard. And so it, it gets nasty really quick. So he just destroyed my base again, but that's been saving us. But we're getting really hit hard here. Uh, battle mech first. Okay, don't use, don't care. Scout, just get rid of. No, okay. Play all. Bathhouse is discarding. He is Send a row card, get rid of that, because that's nasty. Oh, hey, we can buy that. Why not? Oh, hey, another one of those. Uh, and then we'll hit him for 12. See? And, yeah. Almost wanted to discard, but I realized. Perfect, so look at this. So, I will be able to get to draw a card, and I get two attack from this thing, and one trade now, because I have the battle mech and the trade bot. And now I'm going to scrap these things, these vipers, or uh, this scout, because they are just getting, gonna, they are going to get in the way now. Because now that I'm getting my hand together, I need to start getting rid of these cards so that I can keep drawing my battle mech, my trade bots, my battle blobs, or my battle pod, my, my other battle mech, trade bots, in you know, Imperial Frigates, just so I can keep pulling faster. And right now, it is a close game. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but I mean, we, we aren't that many points off. And if I'm going to keep pulling 12 like this round, I have 6, 7, 8, 9. I, could, I can get up to 10, or excuse me, 11 if I want to. Now, that, that will quickly level the field, which we're going to do. See, now, is he, did he copy this? And so now he has 8. Yeah, okay. So we're going to scrap this this turn and then get the extra 2 attack because we're going to need it. So do that, scrap the Viper, play this, play all of these, buy two more of these, because I think I, I'm going to scrap one this turn, giving us 11, hit him for 11, like that, we are close. Now next game, of course, oh there we go, now I'm going to get that 5 attack, because I already have, you know, 6, or yeah, 4, 5, 6 right here. And I might buy the uh, Battle Cruiser. Battle Carrier 7. That's a heavy hitter. Do I get to discard if I, uh, I didn't grab? See, and this is the problem. You want to combo, but if you got these garbage cards in your hand, you're not going to combo because you need to get through the cards. So that's what I need to do. Um, I'm just going to have to wait for his turn to end, which it did. Now we're going to play all. Now, see, this is going to wait because it's like, hey, do you want to, what do you want to do with it? You need to specify. So I'm going to specify five attack. Um, hmm. We'll pick up the battle cruiser. We'll hit him for five. See, now we're one point different. We're actually going to discard both of these for an extra four and hit him. Now he's down. Now, hopefully next round we'll start pulling the big guys again. Okay, so I can play that scrap it. That's five. That's going to trigger six, seven, eight. That's going to get him to really start thinking. But if he can pull out 15, which is possible if he pulls out that one battle, uh, the blob attacker, and it was like eight or something, you, you know, I mean, that's start going to, it's going to hurt. But now that I reshuffled, I have all my things. Now I really wish I got rid of these, these um, scouts more, but we'll, we'll see. It's going to be a close game nonetheless. This is how this game normally runs. It's always close games. It's not like, you know, you're going to win by 20 points. I mean, it does happen once in a while, but I mean, it normally 
I wonder if we're going for a similar strategy because we're going for a quick game and we actually can see his cards so yeah so he went for almost a similar strategy it looks like because he bought these ones and these um, give you one and dis and draw a card but if you get another you know if you get two of these then you get two additional okay he did six ten oh twelve okay crap uh, <laughs> I just lost this there's I I Okay, so instead of that means that we can't scrap that because that means that's five more points he has to get through to get to three. That might save me. Um, yeah. Oh no, I don't like this. We're we're gonna buy one of those back, hit him for one, and then pray. Okay, so we do have enough next round to kill him, but the problem is, do we survive? I. I pretty much gave myself five extra hit points because of that battle station instead of using it. So that means he has to get at least eight, which it is possible. But I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what he has. Cause this is a discard, and it looks like there's quite a bit. But I mean, even in his hand, he has quite a bit of cards. So whoa, I'm sure he's thinking on the other side, just saying, "Okay, guys." We're probably going to have to sacrifice this and scrap this. You know, I bet he is planning it out. Okay, here it goes. 3, 11, 13. No, guys, so close. Oh, so close.